The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Grains, CNM Seeds, and Syngenta Canada. Find more episodes of The Wheat School by going to wheatschool.com. Hi, I'm Amber Bell, and this is Real Agriculture. I am here today with Jeremy Boychin, who is the Director of Research with Alberta Grains, and we're going to be doing a wheat school on on-farm research, uh, which is a very important piece to the research puzzle coming out of plots and stuff. So welcome, Jeremy. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having me, Amber. I'm happy to be here. So we're going to start off with the basics. What exactly is on-farm research? Like, how does that compare to plots? Yeah, so... Um... I would say that the definition of on-farm research is going to change depending on who you are, what question you're going to ask. Um, but the overarching thing that would probably encapsulate what on-farm research is, is um, asking questions about operations on farm and doing that in a more scientific way of it's replicated, it's randomized, and we're trying to get results that we can confidently make decisions in. And, and that can fall into agronomic questions, um, such as, you know, how much fertilizer am I putting down? It all could also fall into genetic questions of, am I using the right variety? How do these varieties perform on my farm? So um, the, the approach is going to be different, uh, and, and maybe how you're asking the questions is gonna be different, but overarchingly, we're trying to ask the question of, how do these potential changes on farm impact farmers and the, the decisions they'll make in the future? Okay, so how do you select participating farmers? Like who do you decide to go with? Can people bring ideas to you? How does that work? Yeah, so with Plata Farm, which is the Alberta Grains on-farm research program, um, we essentially do a call out to producers and say, hey, if you're interested in, in asking an on-farm question and you want support to ask that question, apply, bring your question to us, let us know about your equipment, uh, what field you think would work for it, how you want to approach it. And, and even before then, we're happy to like engage and have a conversation of, okay, what does the program actually look like? Um, how, how is that process going to look? Uh, but it's, it's essentially an open call for producers to, to ask questions. Now, we, we are using producers' levy dollars to run this program, so we want to make sure we're asking questions that are relevant to as many producers as possible, right? This is uh, a producer-driven program where we're saying, okay, if we're going to be doing this, um, let's make sure it's valuable to as many producers as possible. So we, we get those applicants in, we review what questions they want to answer. We'll have discussions with them to make sure we understand the fine details of how it's going to be implemented and what results we're looking for. Uh, and then we'll select based on that. But, um, you know, generally most producers who are applying uh, end up being part of the program, which is exciting because it means that uh, um, producers are seeing value in the program. Right. And you said it was producer driven. So how did this all come about and what does it look like today? Yeah, so um, this actually started in about uh, 2018. Um, the research committee on Alberta wheat and Alberta barley, uh, which is now the amalgamated Alberta grains, uh, saw on-farm research being conducted in different parts of Western Canada, in the U.S., uh, and they thought, you know, we, we need to do something like this in Alberta. Um, there's value in using this as a, as a vehicle to talk about small plot research and how the results of that small plot research will impact farmers um, logistically, economically. What does it look like when we make a rec recommendation of, hey, you know, we've conducted the small plot research. These are the results we're recommending. Um, and then being able to ask that question on farm. Okay, so what does this recommendation actually mean to you, producer in in Fort Vermilion or in um, in Barhead or or wherever it happens to be? Uh, today we're we're in Bow Island. Mm -hmm. um, so making sure that that uh, you know we're we're asking those questions. Um, across the province and and understanding what the impact's going to be so that was the goal was to to kind of say okay let's align this with small plot research um and let's see what kind of questions producers are asking on farm but you know as mo as as most good programs end up doing it's kind of expanded from there and and become something that helps us connect the research community with the farm community of okay this is what we're seeing on farm right and and what does this mean for small plot 
research in the future? And how do we align those questions to make sure essentially both of those feet are walking in the same direction and, and we're hopefully providing the best information for producers to make good decisions on their farm. That's great to see those two things coming together. We are currently at the plot to farm, at one of the plot to farm trial sites. So what is happening here on this, this site? Yeah, so this is one of the trials where we're cooperating with Quattro Farms and Farming Smarter. Um, so they are implementing a trial that's looking at different uh, rates of enhanced efficiency fertilizer with their nitrogen rates. So the idea is um, if we're using an enhanced efficiency fertilizer, uh, how does that impact yield? And then if we're reducing nitrogen rates slightly, uh, does the application of enhanced efficiency fertilizer help us um, maybe mitigate some of the cost of, of an enhanced efficiency fertilizer uh, product um, and what does that look like in terms of, of yield and quality um, so that's that's kind of the general framework of what that trial is looking to ask um, and hopefully they'll be able to get good information moving forward right is this the first year of the trial here yeah so all of our trials are single year mm -hmm. uh, at a single site in a single location. Um, so some of our trials we try and do um, the same trial in different locations if we can, but when we think about the research application and combining different locations, uh, the methodology always needs to be essentially exactly the same for us to combine trials together. Um, so we don't combine the results, we keep them separate uh, because statistically we, we just we can't combine them. Uh, but sometimes we try and do multiple trials that are generally the same to kind of create a better picture of, of the answer uh, in a farm scale research design and how do you decide which ones might fit for that like i'm guessing topography environments all of that come into play so how do you decide if there are ones that would be fitting for multi-sites yeah so um again this ties back to farmer interest right um if there was four farmers that were next to each other all wanting to ask the same question absolutely let's do that um, we can work together to create something that's as similar as possible um you know, those, the, the questions of, of does the field work, does the equipment work, that comes after the farmer interest piece. Like mm -hmm. this program is driven on farmer interest of this is what I want to ask, this is why I want to ask it, um, and then the program looks to support asking that question um, through help with trial design and support with an agronomist. Very cool. Well, that's a great, it sounds like a great program and a great way to get things moving. Do you have any words of encouragement for producers that are looking to do something of this nature? Yeah, you know, Plata Farm, we've, we've been doing this for four years um, and we've seen great success with the, the trials we've put into place. But if you're a farmer looking to conduct on-farm trials, um, you know, look around you in your community with different applied research associations or different producer groups um, and see what options there are for you to start going down the road of, of on-farm research. Talk to your agronomist. Um, you know, you don't need to be part of a program like this to specifically start asking questions on your own farm. Um, the, 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 the real thing is, is to just to be heading towards that direction of, I want to ask a question, how do I best ask it to make sure I'm getting answers that I can make decisions on? Um, so, you know, we're happy to, to continue to bring farmers into the plot to farm program. Um, but if you're outside of that, or you feel like if it doesn't align with you, there's, there's plenty of other opportunities as well. So, um, it's, uh, it's, it's valuable for future decisions, um, and allows you to, to continue to grow your agronomic knowledge on your own farm. Great. Well, that's fantastic and some really good information. So that was Jeremy Boychen on Real Agriculture.